In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create the track animation slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, this track completely done in PowerPoint and I've added some background here, a kind of a cityscape. And how it works is when I click the truck start moving and then it will show some images or text. So depending on your requirement, you can change the color of the text, uh, the, the, the color of the truck also, different things you can do according to your requirement. So let me just show you how it works is when I click, you can see here the truck started moving. All right. And then when I click, it's going to show you the first image here and then you can add the text and the title here and when i click it goes to the second one the third one and the fourth one likewise i have created one more slide where when i click it started moving somewhat fast and then you can add your text and the title here the second one the third one and you can add some icon also depending on your requirement you can change the colors the sizes the background image everything is editable here and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this however with older version also you can do it so let's start the tutorial i have created this track in powerpoint as you can see here i can just remove the parts here and i can just give any color uh, depending on my requirement so i'm not going to show you how i have created this track in powerpoint because this is going to consume a lot of time instead i'm going to show you how we can do uh, certain animations on this one like i want to display some text or image so uh, let's see how to do this animation onto this particular truck the first thing i'm going to animate the tires for that go to the animations enable the animation pane let me just zoom in and i'm going to choose the the tire first tire or i can just choose all the tires also you can see here by holding the shift key i can choose all the tires and then what i need to do is i have to go to add animation and you can see the spin here click on the spin all right now it's already spinning so now right mouse click go to effect options and you can see here the amount 360 instead of clockwise you need to select counterclockwise all right then the timing how fast you want the tires to spin so i'm going to make it maybe very fast and repeat until end of the slide and click ok now if i play when i click you can see here the tire started rotating or spinning okay there's the first animation now the second animation which i would like to do on the body here okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add few text or few images or some rectangles depending on the requirement so first go to insert shapes i'm going to select a rectangle and i'm going to draw one rectangle here okay shape outline make it no outline shape fill uh, we can give some color later on not a problem so i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and if you like to give some gap also you can give it all right and then one more here and one more which is somewhat smaller all right so something like this all right so here what we can do on this is i'm going to add some images here if you want you can add some text also for example let me just add some text here so first of all go to format shape outline make it no outline all right and then depending on the requirement maybe i'm going to change the color so i want this color and i want different colors i'm going to put it okay and here i'm going to put maybe some red color and then go to insert text box i'm going to add the title all right if you want you can just simply add the image also here okay and then make it somewhat bold and then again go to insert text box i'm going to add detail text here okay reduce the size and i'm going to 
put it here let me just bring this one somewhat down both of this let me just go to format align and i'm going to center press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add one here ctrl d one more here and if you liked to add some image what you can do is let me just close this one go to the animations sorry go to the insert and then i'm going to format shape i can go to fill and here picture or texture fill i can select this one and i can insert any picture here okay so just click on the insert whether you want to insert the picture from icons from online or from your local pc for example i want to insert some icon here i'm going to select some icon so let me just choose any icon let's say i want to just add say this one and click insert so you can see here the icon has been added now here you have to untick this one and then you can just align it properly you can see here wherever whichever way you want i can just align it as per my requirement so i have added the text and one image also or the icon also here now what i need to do the next one is i want to cover this okay so for that let me just zoom in a little bit okay then i'm going to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle one rectangle at a time okay and shape outline no outline shape fill whether you want light color dark color it's up to you whichever color for example i'm going to choose this color all right and then press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to add one more rectangle here make sure that this should not be visible press ctrl d i'm going to add one more rectangle all right and here i'm going to add some more smaller rectangle here all right so you can see here something like this it can be done so let me just move a little bit yes so you can see here we have added the text and now i have hide those things now this has to be revealed upon the animation so let me just close this one go to animations enable the animation pane now i'm going to select this first one the first rectangle which we have added so go to add animation i'm going to more exit effects select the exit effect and you can see here you've got lot of uh, different things are there different uh, effects so i can make it maybe a, a contrast so it is coming like this i can make it wipe okay i can make it collapse also select the collapse and click ok and the effect option is shoot from to top so it comes something like this you can see here so now using the animation painter i'm going to do this one copy this one then the third box and then our fourth box which is a smaller one all right so you can see here when i click it is started rotating and then the first one comes second one third one and fourth one so if you want to add some other images it's up to you to do that one so this is a simple animation technique you can use this one and if you like to be more realistic then you can add some uh, image at the background for example if you see here i have added this image so let me just copy this image i have downloaded from the net any image you can download it and let me just paste it here let me just zoom out a little bit and for example this is the generally say like this this is the uh, the image so what i'm we need to do is we need to increase the size okay so let me just zoom out and then i'm increasing the size something like this you have to make it more towards the left okay because what i'm going to do now is this one i'm going to move this to this end okay so there's one animation let me just remove that animation so not to get confused now what happens is let me just go to format send this to back so our truck is here and how we cannot move the truck complete uh, truck because we have added the animation instead what i'm going to do is i'm going to just move this image to the left side so that it looks that the truck is moving okay so what we need to do is select this image so remember that our the size is the slide size is still this one only okay so i'm just going to put it here 
then what I'm going to do now is go to the animations add animation and you can go to more motion path scroll it down and make it right you can see here click OK then double click this one remove the smooth start smooth end I can make it auto reverse also but does not require this one let me just untick this one timing I'm going to make it extremely slow and repeat until end of the slide and click OK OK so you can see here it is moving so what happens here is this should be done maybe with previous and I'm going to bring it at the top so what happens is when I click you can see here it is the truck as if the truck is moving because I have made the effect very slow if you want to make it somewhat fast double click this one timings make it maybe slow click OK and if I click you can see here it looks like the truck is moving okay and then when I click the first will come the second the third and the fourth this kind of animation techniques you can use it